Hey guys, welcome back to Mind State, where we help you reach your full potential. In today's video, we will be discussing 15 traits you are more mature than others. Let's get to it! We all know that older people are more mature, but what does that really mean? Psychological maturity has nothing to do with age or the wrinkles around your eyes. It has more to do with the ability to respond to the environment in an appropriate manner. It helps you become a better person overall, more tolerant, compassionate, understanding, and empathetic to others. Here are 15 traits you are more mature than others. Number 1. Time is one of the most valuable things in life. It's what makes us human, and it's something that we can never get back. That's why you take time more seriously than ever before. You understand that time is valuable, and you don't like to waste any of it. You find it equally important to respect other people's time. This includes personal and professional settings. Number 2. When you're mature, you don't find yourself running away from responsibilities. Instead, you embrace them. Responsibility comes with experience, not age, and only mature people possess this trait. It's one of those key traits that are essential for becoming a healthy, happy, and productive person. Without it, you cannot advance in life. When you're mature, you embrace responsibilities instead of running away from them. You no longer find yourself procrastinating. You know that you'll feel much better if you handle your responsibilities first and then relax with a clear mind. Number 3. You take your work seriously. People have different priorities depending on the type of work you are doing. You may look at it as something that's permanent, or you may look at it as temporary work. In either case, you tend to take the job more seriously, regardless if it's something you spent your entire life working for, or if it's just something to help you pay your way through school. You always make the effort to do your best. You realize and understand the importance of each job on your resume, and how it can help you in the future. When looking at a job opportunity, you don't just think about how much money they will pay you. Instead, Think about how this job can help build up your resume and increase your value in the marketplace. Number 4. A big part of being a responsible adult is being able to accept differences in others. We all have different beliefs, backgrounds, and interests. And that's okay. It's important to be able to respect those differences and accept them as they are. When you're an adult, you can appreciate people for who they are, not for what you want them to be. Number 5. You've mastered the art of listening. You may still get caught up in your own thoughts, but you're learning not to interrupt someone who's talking. Because really, what do you have to add? Why can't you just listen and let them finish? You understand the value of listening, and know that by doing so, you will learn a lot more than by talking. Unless people ask about you, you don't feel like you have to talk about yourself all the time. Now, when someone asks how your day was or what's new with your life, it feels more genuine because it's not just about you being there to talk, it's about them being there to listen. Number 6. As a mature person, you try to respond to others with reason and logic. You don't jump to conclusions and make assumptions about what people mean when they say something. You also try to understand where other people are coming from before responding. Instead of just reacting, you take the time to step back and think about what the other person is saying in order to better comprehend their point of view. You are able to filter your thoughts before speaking, especially in social gatherings. You never want your temper or emotions to get the best of you. So you use self-control when dealing with others, even if they are out of line. You always stay calm as you discuss issues with others and never let your temper take over. Instead of trying to get revenge on those who have hurt or offended you, you always try to understand them instead. Number 7. Self-improvement is a huge part of maturity and being an adult. It's not just about wanting more money or better opportunities. It's about wanting to be the best version of yourself possible. You want to be the person you know you can be, and you're willing to make whatever changes are necessary for that to happen. You don't just want a good job or a nice house. You want a life full of amazing experiences and new opportunities. And that's not something you can get without hard work. Are you liking the video so far? Before we get back, don't forget to like, Share and subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of our new uploads. Now let's get right back to it. Number 8. You are patient. You know what it means to be patient and you're okay with that. You don't live in a world of instant gratification. And you don't expect things to just happen instantly. Instead, you're willing to put in the effort and wait for the rewards to materialize. 
regardless of how long it takes. Your expectations become more realistic when you grow older. You understand that life isn't perfect or fair, but you also know that there are ways to make things better for yourself and others if you choose them carefully. Living life at a slower pace than most of society, you try to set a positive example in a world that seems to move too quickly. Number 9. Commitment is a big deal. We all know that at some point we're going to have to invest ourselves in another person. We'll have to make room for someone in our lives and be there for them when they need us. And if we can't commit, we're going to feel like something is missing from our lives. But what happens when we don't feel like committing? Why do some people just refuse to get into a relationship? Well, there are several reasons. Maybe they've been hurt before. Maybe they're scared of getting hurt again. Maybe they don't want the responsibility of caring for someone else. Or maybe they think it's too much work. And trust me, it can be. Number 10. Compromising is one of the most important skills you can have in life. It's the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes. Think about their needs and wants, and then make a decision that takes everyone into account. It's not always easy. Things don't always work out exactly how you want them to. And there are times when it feels like you should just go ahead and do what you want without worrying about anyone else. But as a mature person, you know better than that. You know that compromise is key to being a good person, whether it's in your personal relationships or at work or anywhere else. The truth is, most people will bend over backwards for someone who has mastered the art of compromise. People want someone who is willing to listen to their ideas, consider them carefully, and then make a decision together about how things should proceed from there. And if they feel like they've been heard, well then, they're happy. Number 11. Family is the most important thing in your life now. Your friends are still important, but they're not as close as they used to be. You don't mind hanging out with them, but it's not like when you were younger and your family was just a chore to be around. You've grown up, and you realize that family is the most important thing in life. You love spending time with them, you look forward to it. Number 12. As a mature person, you know that taking care of your health has nothing to do with age. It has more to do with the realization that you are not invincible. You pay close attention to your diet, and you have no problem with making lifestyle changes in order to maintain your health. You understand that being healthy is not just about losing weight or having a six-pack. It is about taking care of yourself and making sure you are able to live life at its fullest potential. Number 13. We all need time to ourselves. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day and lose track of what we need to be happy and fulfilled. If you find yourself feeling overwhelmed or stressed out, take a step back and ask yourself, what do I need right now? You don't have to make any major changes, just something small to help you relax and reset. Maybe it's having a cup of tea before bed or taking a walk around your neighborhood after work. The important thing is to start doing this regularly, even if it's just once per week. You'll start feeling more peaceful, relaxed, and ready to tackle the next day. Number 14. You know that a positive attitude can make all the difference in how you experience life. So, you make a conscious effort to shift your thoughts toward a more optimistic outlook on life. You don't complain and compare yourself to others, and you refuse to engage with people or activities that bring you down. When bad things happen, you know that wallowing in misery won't fix anything. So instead, you choose to look for the silver lining and take it as an opportunity to learn from the experience. Number 15. When you're mature, you don't let your emotions get the best of you. You know that the world is more than just a place where people fight and argue with each other. You know that there's a plenty of good in this world too, and that it's your job to help spread it around. When someone says something mean or rude to you, instead of getting angry and lashing out at them, you take a step back and try to see things from their perspective. Maybe they're having a bad day, or maybe they're just not very nice people. But either way, it doesn't need to affect your mood or how you treat other people. Mature people are also aware that some things are beyond our control, like how we were raised by our parents as children, or what kind of childhood we had ourselves. We understand that there's no point in blaming others for things we can't change, because doing so won't make us any happier or more successful in life. Hey there! Thanks so much for watching Mind State. We've all had experiences that have changed our lives.
For some of us, it's a long-term relationship that taught us what love is. For others, it's the death of a loved one that taught them not to take their life for granted. And for others still, it's something as simple as moving out on their own and learning how to be independent. But do we ever stop to think about how much we've actually changed? Do you feel like you're still the same person you were 5 or 10 years ago? Or do you feel like you've matured and changed in ways you never expected? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And remember to click on the notification bell so when we post a video, you will get notified. See you next time!